One big thing to think about also is the type of forage that's in a body of water. And because that a lot of times will determine uh, color patterns for different baits, right? We'll use swim baits as an example. If I'm going to a lake that is very trout heavy, then I'm gonna care, make sure that I've got a couple variations of trout glide baits or trout swim baits so that I can match that forage because I know those big bass are gonna be eating those trout. And then when I get to the body of water, then I'm gonna look and you know identify what the water clarity is and situation where we've got super clear, clear water, I'm gonna go with a ghost trout, right? Because I want those fish to have the most natural presentation possible. If the water was a little bit dirtier or say we had really dark cloudy skies, well, then I may go with just a regular trout pattern, um, you know, more of an opaque one that they can see better. But that's, you're always adjusting, right? So it's both trout patterns, but one may be ghost, one may be opaque, just based on the conditions, uh, but you're still matching that primary for it. The biggest thing that keeps pushing me back here is the running water. Uh, a lot of times that will concentrate bait fish, but it's pumping fresh, clean oxygen in. The only downfall here and something that you have to be careful about in like kind of these highland reservoir things is that some of these places will be warm water and some of them will be cooler water. Now you want to remember which ones are which because in the spring those warmer ones are going to matter and in the summer and the fall those cooler ones are going to matter uh, because and this one seems to be that it's a little bit cooler water running in right now and I'm not sure that there'll be fish up in here but just the fact that there's that much water pushing through we're going to check it. Bass don't always have to go to the warmest water in the spring if there's a lot of bait. They'll follow that bait into the cooler water. So we're gonna get up here and check it, but I would imagine in the springtime, or in the spring, they probably want a little bit warmer water. And so with this much coming in, it's pushing clean, fresh water, but they just maybe not right in with their nose tucked right into it, right? They may be back where that water has time to warm up going across the flat. But in the summertime, I bet they put their noses right up in that current and that cooler water. So you also gotta think about what type of bait fish is the primary forage because if trout are the primary forage well they like cooler water temperatures right? they're more of a cold water species and so that can also change how the bass behave it seems like a lot of times when they're just sitting somewhere and not moving those are the hardest fish to catch but if you, you're looking at Meg alive and you see him and he's not really flying around, but he's just kind of easing around, it seems like those ones are almost kind of moving and looking and hunting. And those are the ones that are a little bit more aggressive and tend to bite better from what I can tell. I mean, I haven't used live for a super long time, um, but in the amount of time that I've had it, it's been really cool to kind of learn and understand how fish actually move versus what, like how we think they move. You know, I mean, now that you can see exactly what's happening, how they react to your bait, it kind of makes you sick when you realize how many fish look at your lure that you have no idea look at your lure. You know, I mean, every once in a while before, you'd see one follow it back to the boat or something but for every one you see fall back to the boat, there's another 20 or 30 that look at your bait that don't bite it. What that does as an angler is it allows you to make those adjustments, right? You start to learn the behavior of the fish, how they react to a bait. And sometimes you can figure out, okay, 
I have the right bait, maybe I don't have the right color. And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.